Yeah, they definitely are. We know these guys are going to be leaving it all out on the track. This is the final event. And then we see we could be five minutes away from a qualifying. Here we go, the start list. Brent Newdick, Cedric Dubler, Jackson Henry, Kyle Cranston, Jared Sims, Jake Steen, Max Atwell, Lance Faulkner, Wesley Salisbury, Martin Clark, Aaron Booth, Andrew Pedrana, David Brock, and Aaron Page. It's a tough time, I think, in the decathlon, what these guys are thinking about on the 1500 start line. Oh, we're just going down to Mossy on the start line. Oh, how exciting down here. I can sense the anticipation in not just the crowd, myself, Brody, the cameraman, but also Cedric Dubler. You can see him there, the man with the bluish shirt there, the nice orange spikes. This one is going to be an absolute belt. We're going to see the crowd go off. He's got to do a 4.58 here, and he'll be the first qualifier we've had in the uh, decathlon in the Olympics since the year 2000. Here we go. It's about to start. Back up to you guys. Here we go. We are off. We won't see anyone absolutely drop the pace here, but hopefully Cedric can tack on the back of someone, find that comfortable pace. When he did his 4.57, like he said before, at the Queensland Champs, he did that by himself. He was miles and miles in front of everyone, and there wasn't anything on the line. It was just a state title. He complete. I think he was a 7,700 points, so could be on here for a 400-point PB. And, well, this is the time to do it if you're going to do it somewhere. And if he's done it before by himself... You know, it's it's evidence that he can do it again. And he's got to have that in his mind. He's got to go for it. He's really got to go for it. So that's it. We're not looking at the first guy across the line here. Although they will take line honours, we are going to keep an eye on the athlete. Currently in sixth position in the purple singlet, Cedric Dubler. He needs a sub 458 to qualify himself and grab that Rio Olympic qualifiers. Ooh. Looks like he may have been just having a bit of leg cramp there at the moment. He's punching that quad, talking it through. Let's fingers crossed that that's not the case. But knowing Cedric, he will push through this to get there. Let's, let's really touch wood there for Cedric and hopefully it's not a serious issue. No, no. And I, I, I mean, I, I think the leaders here just have just gone through in 109. So he was a few seconds back there. And yeah, if it's a serious issue... It's going to be trouble, but he's just got to keep running and keep running on. That's right. You just you never know what his body could do. And he looks pretty comfortable there at the moment. He doesn't look that much in pain, so hopefully it wasn't anything serious. But he certainly gave his quite a big punch as he, as he went through that first 300 metres. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit of a scare, but I, th I think he's look, he looks like he's running all right. And he's just got to keep, keep the momentum going and... You know, and, and, and look at those guys in front of him and really feed off them um, and, and just try to increase his pace as much as he can over this last 800. That's right. So they're going to come around with two laps to go. Fingers crossed he can just tuck on the back of someone. I know the crowd has really been hanging around. It's a big crowd. There's not many more events left to go in this program. But Cedric could be 800 metres away from an 8,000-point performance and this is big if you can get through here yeah we're going to watch his 800 time he's just going to be coming through 800 in about 50 meters or so and we'll just see the winners have gone through 800 and 224 or the leaders and we'll just see see his time here 234 it's going to be tough yeah it's going to be tough but um just got to keep keep going yeah keep rolling that pace it is very, very, very tricky to get out there, especially if he, if he, if he is having in some uh, kind of leg cramp issues. But he doesn't look too uncomfortable out there. He's still striding along, plugging along. It, it's this is it's got to be a it's the it's doomsday for these fifteen hundred runners doing a fifteen hundred. Sorry, the decath runners doing a fifteen at the end there. It's oh, very tough. Yeah, and I mean it's so much further than the shortest distance they run, which is um four hundred. So it's kind of. Yeah, I could imagine that they're not never looking forward to it, but they've just got to keep moving and keep going, and we'll see what he's got to do for the last lap here. Yeah, the crowd's definitely getting behind him. He's got about 450 metres to go. And he's got to find something very, very special. It's going to be very close. He's got a bit of time up his sleeve, though. He's going through the bell 336, so he could have a minute 20. Ah... Uh, yeah, 80, yeah. About 86 seconds, and that's not 
too much of an ask. Yeah, no, it's a little bit faster than what, it, what he went through 800 in, or about as quite sim similar. So we'll see what he's got here. 300 to go. We're at 357. So he's got to break 60 for the last 300. He should be able to do that. He should be able to do that. He's a, he's a pretty fit guy, obviously showcased by the fact that he's doing the decaf and could qualify at Fort Rio. But this whole crowd in front of him, I want them to lift up. I need to find something huge. He's got 200 metres left. I think he could do this. He's got 40 seconds. That's only 20 seconds per 100. It sounds easy in your head, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> yeah, he can do this. He can do this. We see a huge finish here from one of our other decaf guys running very quick there. That's Max Atwell, the New Zealander. We see the two New Zealanders finishing off there. But Cedric, he's only got 100 metres left, and he's got 20 seconds to do it. He the crowd it. is absolutely <laughs> going crazy. Cedric, come on, mate. Everyone, go, go, Cedric. Let's go, Cedric. You've got to find that gear. Let's get to the line. It's going to be close. I think he might be able to yep. do it. Yep, yep, he's yes, done it. he's done it. <laughs> Four fifty-five. He did it with plenty to spare. Oh. Cedric Dubler, that is a 2016 Olympic qualifier, and he's going to be the national champion. He doesn't even look that tired. No, he doesn't. But, oh, wow. And everyone here in the stadium, all the people that have just run that women's 5K, everyone was just yelling at him. That is humongous. He is absolutely pumped. Robbo, right. Robbo's in there straight away. You right? He might have to go talk to his coach first and his fans. He's got to, he's got to just go and catch up with the fans, guys, and we'll give him that permission to go and do that. What about that, folks? The, the crowd here... Well, it's only a pretty small crowd, you'd have to say, but the crowd here has been absolutely entertained.